Hey, how y'all doing today? Hope everybody's doing well and staying warm. Man, that's cold down here in Texas. Uh, speaking of cold, I have got a heater the other day and uh, tried it out in the vehicle, but it's a no bueno. Uh, it, it works really well as long as you have power. <laughs> if you're plugged in, to shore power, it would do great. Or in the bedroom in the house, it does great. But on a 12 volt system with a 400 watt inverter, no, it, uh, it, it just won't work. So I'm not gonna go into any details about it because it has nothing to do with camping or anything. It is a good little heater though. I will say that, it, it flat puts out the heat, so. If you're usually plugged in at the campgrounds or whatever, or you have a lot of 12 volt batteries and whatnot, then I, it's a good heater, no question about it. But I did get something in and I will show you what it is. Yeah, here we go. It, it's a heat lamp. But the cool thing is, is it doesn't, Put out light. It's supposed to just put out heat. And I'm going to check it out when the temperature drops a little bit more and get a good accurate check to see how well it works. I've got the battery. I've got the battery on the battery charger. <laughs> that way I can get a full charge. I haven't really been driving much, so I haven't got a chance to really charge up the battery with the new hookup system I've got. So anyhow, that's what it is. All I want to do is hook it up in here and then hook it to the inverter. Oh, we're at 12.7, 12.7 volts. So we're going to give this a try in a little while and see how well it heats up the rig here. Like I said, right now it's showing 50, two, four, six, about 56 degrees. So, we're gonna give it a chance. I'll tell you the details on this little light here in just a second because, uh, well, it may give some details right there. 100 watt, we'll check it out. But uh, right here will be the details. Check out the details here. So see, it's, it's questionable. I only ordered one though, because I wanted to see what difference it made. I will be back. Yeah, it is 52, 54, showing 56 degrees. And 12.15, and I'm going to unplug the uh, battery charger. Hang on just a second. All right, with battery charger unplugged, it's 11.88. Now, I'm going to plug this light in to the power strip. And I did switch the, well, you can't see it, but I switched the to be just this battery. Now, I'm going to plug this in and let's we'll see what happens. Get all this out of the way. Got it plugged in on there. Now, let's just turn this on. I forgot to turn the inverter on. Hmm. I sure didn't think it pulled that much juice. Not a hundred percent. Hmm. 11.49. It's putting out heat. All right, well, 
We'll come back and check it in uh, 10 minutes. Fifty-five. Nine point four seven. Yeah, all right. It's dark out here, so I got to turn this light on. Let's see what. It... Oh, well. Fifty-two. Nine point nine. It's putting out heat, but. It's not going to be able to run off of an inverter. That's quite a letdown. That is a fail on the heat lamp and a disappointment. All right, back to the drawing board. All right, I, I just had an idea. Let's do a test. It's 47 degrees. Let's plug it straight into an extension cord, the heat light that is. And let's leave it on there for one hour and see how good that thing does in, in the cold with uh, regular AC power. Let me get it plugged in and we'll find out. Yeah, it's been about an hour. Let's check this and see what we have. We have heat. But we only have 40, what would y'all say, 43 degrees? So, I don't think, even plugged into electricity, I don't think that's going to do the trick. Yeah, all right, so much for that. Well, I know y'all really can't see me, but that's not a bad thing. <laughs> anyway, I'll have to try something different. I think what it's going to take is a, a lot bigger inverter. And I think the batteries would hold up if the inverter was big enough. I don't know. What, what What's y'all's suggestions? I'm open. Anyway, for now, y'all keep on keeping on. I'll see y'all on down the road. Bye.